Hey you guys, so I'm going to make a quick video of using a Bluetooth keyboard with Android. Um, I know that it's a, something that a lot of people would love to use. Um, I only recently found this app and I've tried it out and so far, for the most part, it works pretty well. Um, as you can see, I have an Apple wireless keyboard, it's a Bluetooth keyboard, and I've haven't had much use of it since I sold my MacBook, so it's actually good that I kept it around to try this out. Um, pretty much the app that I got, it's from this website here. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's a Japanese website, and the name is called Blue Keyboard for Android. Um, and if you find it in the market, um, it's called Blue Keyboard. So let me just show you that really quick. Sorry if it's going to be a little blurry. Alright, so there's Blue Keyboard JP. Um, the first one is the free version, and the pro one uh, you have to pay for. Um, the difference is that um, it gets rid of the advertisement that shows up on the bottom, which you'll see in a little bit. But, uh, I mean, once you install it, um, it pretty much installs it as a regular keyboard. Um, and so far, it, it supports the Apple Wireless Keyboard. Even though it says um, the Japanese one, I guess, it does support the U.S. one, too. Um, and if you go to the website and you translate it to English, there's a bunch of other keyboards that are um, compatible. So here's a quick... Um, I guess tutorial of how to use it. Um, pretty much, you just go to your uh, your settings, and you go to language and keyboard, and there should be an option now for blue key blue keyboard JP. Um, once you see that, that means you can start using it. Um, pretty much, you just select it, um, and it says you know if you want to use this input method, it might use. Uh, collect some personal data or whatever um, so just click OK and then you go to the settings for it and then from here this is where uh, th you have to try and be a little I guess technical um, you try and pair the keyboard to the phone so uh, go to the Bluetooth settings and from here you could turn on your Bluetooth so go ahead and do that okay and then uh, once you do that uh, make sure that you uh, turn on the keyboard um, if you haven't done it for the first time. And then uh, once you do it, um, it should show up if you scan for it. And for me, it's already in there. But uh, let me uh, do it all over again just so you can get an idea. So uh, you pair with the device. And this pop will show up to do a pairing request. Uh, basically what you can do is, um, you know, just make up a random number. So you can do a 1111 and press OK. And then on the keyboard, you have to do 1111 and then enter. And then it'll say that it's paired but not connected. And that's totally natural. Um, it won't connect until you start typing. Um, so just go back and... Uh, the next option of you select is to select a keyboard. So make sure that once you do it, it should show the Apple wireless keyboard. So make sure it's selected. Um, the keyboard layout, you can do the QWERTY, I guess, if you're the US version, or you can go the Japanese version, I guess. Um, make sure to enable, well, to disable the auto capitalization. Um, people have had some trouble with it, saying that it's doing. Um, some random Japanese letters and such while you type English so I just disabled it for the heck of it and that's pretty much it so um, let's just go back and um, let's just do uh, let's see I guess a random program um, I'll just do color note I guess for now so let's add a note alright so once you uh, select, um, I guess, the area that you want to type, um, you know, I guess first it'll show the Android keyboard. Um, what you want to do 
is um, hold down wherever you want to type and then it should say either paste or input method uh, go to input method and select the blue keyboard JP so now um, the Android keyboard will completely disappear all you'll see is um, on the notification bar if it connected to your Apple keyboard or your Bluetooth keyboard and right now it says that mine is connected which is good um, and here on the bottom is the ad that I was telling you about so um, if you don't want that then go ahead and get the pro version but um, now that we have that I can just start typing a little bit so let's put this down here and just type some random letters I guess And as you can see, it types pretty well. Um, you know, it's not the best, but you know, um, it'll do for now, I guess, until he, whoever, uh, the person that made this, you know, updates it and whatever. Um, but yeah, it works pretty well. Um, there's a couple of shortcuts that are on the website, um, such as, uh, I guess, um, switching between Japanese letters and English letters and symbols and caps and stuff like that so just take a look at that um, on the translator website I guess um, and that's pretty much it um, you know just go ahead and try it out um, I think it's pretty cool and I hopefully you know the developer he uh, you know makes it even better with a few more updates I guess but um you know just let me know if this worked out for you um, and yeah that's all I have to say so uh, Thanks a lot for listening, and hope it goes well for you.